Well, at least that game is over. Now I'll be able to finally leave the room. Hello everyone, and welcome to my walkthrough of Mega Man 1, I guess. I am PK Gam, and I'll be commentating this. I'll just show you what settings that I've got on here, just to make things as quote-unquote painless as possible here. I got five lives instead of three, as I, I think that's probably the best way to do it, as well as having the Navi mode on, because I can actually explain stuff to you what that Navi mode is like and whatnot. So, the Navi does help a little bit. Just a little bit on certain super cheap areas, let's just put it that way. And Mega Man 1 begins. So, uh, back in the day, Capcom, they weren't too fond of this game as it was being made, believe it or not. But they put it out anyway, and it sold well, people liked it for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, there are way better games back in this era, so it did not really hold up all that well. And, well, yeah, let's just let's just do it in the recommended boss order, I guess you could say. Cutman, Cutman stage isn't all that bad or anything like that, so let's just do our best. B button is to jump and A button is to shoot on the GameCube. I don't know why that is. And, of course, D-pad to move, and you press the pause button to go back to this sort of stuff. Yeah, but your actual weapon switch is the um, Z button on the GameCube. Yep, yep, yep. So anyway... We begin! Oh god. <laughs> Here comes the cheapness! Well, okay, the, the Cutman stage really isn't that bad whatsoever. It's just, it just that it's, it's getting you in the I want to be the guy sort of kind of spirit. These are... Those are just like to give you points and uh, stuff, so it's not really all that important. <laughs> oh shoot, I just want to get... Yeah, I want to get those suckers as far as I can be away from them, if at all possible. But yeah, it's so weird that Capcom didn't like this game as it was being made and whatnot, but yet people did and they just kept making sequel after sequel, and... It, it's also kind of funny, the actual Mega Man community often can't agree on what game the Mega Man series actually started on. <laughs> if that makes sense. Oh, this is energy, by the way, to recover your health. Um, so, like, uh, some people, they're like, oh, no, no, the Mega Man one isn't all that good. Play Mega Man 2, that one is way better because yada, yada, yada. And then, then someone's like, oh, no, no, Mega Man 2 wasn't where it was at. Number 3 was where it was at because of yada, 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 and etc., etc. So, it, it, all the games have issues. Let's <laughs> just put it that way. It's, it's very hard for people to agree on something that's actually universally liked. <laughs> I guess that's the best way to put Mega Man in a way, is that some people have games that they absolutely love, I guess, but I'm seeing flaws in pretty much all of them. Cutman stage here, though, not all that difficult, as you can tell. I'm just kind of blazing through it for the most part. Just, just as long as you're careful, you're, you pretty much won't die. <laughs> well, pr probably. I mean, there are some bottomless pits and stuff, but... Oh shoot, oh shoot. Yeah, but you can always back away from stuff uh, if you see something coming. It's Cutman is the most intro of intro stage you'll see in Mega Man. The rest of the stages are where the pain is at. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, uh, I wonder if I can get away with... Yeah, okay. Just wanted to see here. Because I, I wasn't sure if I needed an item to kill that, but no, I could sneak through that. I can sneak through just fine. Uh, uh oh. Get out of here. <laughs> Um, I can get by this too, yes, yes, looking good so far. And there are midpoints, but you can't tell when you get a midpoint until you pass the point and die. So I'm pretty sure I've gotten a midpoint by now, and oh, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh, these guys are awkward in such a situation. <laughs> okay, we're good. That Luckily we got some energy here. Cut me on stage, as I said, is, is the most intro of intro intros. And here is where the, well, oh geez, where the bottomless pits can start. 
and spikes are insta-kill even if you're flashing- oh shoot, um... Okay. <laughs> so be very careful of the spikers. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no! Those guys are practically impossible to avoid and they have so much health it's ridiculous. So you're best just walking past them and you'll probably take a hit doing so. Yeah, uh, turret! Oh god. Okay, we're good. We're still good. Not not that difficult so far. Oh! You know, I'm not that bad at games or anything like that, so... There shouldn't be too much ire in my future. Alright, Cutman time. After you pass the second gate like that, you get to face... The main, main boss of the level, which is what the level is... Uh, yeah, what the level is... Based off of, I guess you could say, in terms of the boss's weakness and stuff like that, but... Ah, yeah, I died. I figured that would happen because I was kind of let low health to begin with. That's okay, though. I got plenty of lives left. I got it. Oh! Oh, I got it all set up. And all will be okay, hopefully. <laughs> oh, man, I got nicked. So I gotta sort of kind of relearn the patterns of these SOBs, too. That's another thing, because... Yeah, I want to be the guy. It's, it's the name of the game. You gotta learn everything, including boss patterns. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh yeah, that's right, you do that, and wait, you're gonna shoot that directly at me. Okay, yeah, okay, now, I kinda remember, oh, I can remember some stuff here, yeah, I got, okay, I'm getting the hang of this again. There we go, yeah, how you like those apples? Oh, you don't like those apples, do you? <laughs> okay, we almost got this, we almost got this, we got this, oh man, I still took damage, but I won. <laughs> it was ugly, but I won. Yes, yes. <laughs> now, each boss is weak against another boss's weapon. So, in this case, we got a weapon for uh, defeating Cutman. And, yeah, now we can go over to Elekaman because he is weak against said cutter item. So, oh, and the item is called the Rolling Cutter, by the way. Anyway. <laughs> So next one, Lechman, oh god, oh boy, oh boy, not these. Yeah, all you can do with these is stun them, but when you're- so when you're standing on their platform, they move ultra fast, so time these very well. <laughs> and this is, I guess you could say, where the annoyingness in level design begins. Uh, look, look, look at this, we got this little, little tiny platform here with one moving across a two square area. As you know why not. So you gotta stun it at- Ah! Oh! You! <laughs> I don't have the re required item to get that energy over there, but... Yeah, be a big deal, I suppose. Uh, and while climbing up these ladders, there's also some... Unfriendly fire coming. Oh god! <laughs> yeah, like, how do you... Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how to deal with that completely. Maybe if I just, like, run up and just kind of charge him. <laughs> oh, it doesn't work! <laughs> this is Mega Man level design in a nutshell. Okay, I'm gonna try and time this one better. <laughs> okay, made it past that screen-ish. Because there's probably gonna be more coming. Oh god, oh god, no, 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 no! <laughs> Uh, oh no, not the blocks. Not the blocks. I'm afraid it's the blocks. Oh god. Ugh. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> and then you gotta go over to here. One at a time. Careful. Very careful. Ca careful. Extremely. Okay, go. <laughs> that weapon energy is not useful to us at this moment in time, as we've not used the rolling cutter in the slightest. I guess I could use it on those slidey enemies, but eh, eh. And by the way, that uh, that energy down there, you're probably never gonna get that without dying. Let's <laughs> just put it that way. Let's just skip that energy and uh, move on. Now remember that that uh, screen that we just passed by because we're gonna. Oh God! No! 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 Because we're probably we're gonna, we might come across something like that in the future. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Anyway, it says to go up the right side, but I wouldn't do that if I were you. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna switch over to the rolling cutter, and yeah, that's what it does. It's like a boomerang of sorts, and yeah, I can now take on those suckers. Okay, that's, that'll do, that'll do. 
Yeah! Uh, wait, aren't they gonna be coming again? Our zappy zappy friends? Oh, yes. <laughs> Back to the Mega Buster, I suppose. Oh, no! You! You have gotta go. At least they can't knock me off a ladder this time over there. They could just cause me light damage. Now, you something really dumb. You have to play the stage at least twice, at least up to this point, to get that. And, you, and this is a required item to beat the game, which is kind of baloney. <laughs> anyway, just keep going along that left path, because the right path is basically just a dead end. <laughs> it's got an extra life, I do believe, but it's not really... Uh, it's not really anything super special or anything like that, especially since you're probably going to die attempting to get said extra life and whatnot, so oops, 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 no, 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 there we go, <laughs> whoops, that's okay, yeah, you fall off the ladders and you come out of the weapon select screen, all right, I can deal with zappy zaps, as long as there aren't any sort of, oh, I was gonna say, oh, as long as there aren't any sort of enemies that'll cause me ire, that'll knock me off badly, and I just, I just did that badly, I admit, I'm not normally that bad at timing, <laughs> there we go, <laughs> All is well. All is well. And of course, they continue. And that one up top just had no. See, look at see, look at that. If you don't have the required item, which is either Gutsman's power or Elecman's power, which is in the same stage that we're on now, you're going to be blocked in that right path. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and even with that little hint system that said to go up along the right side, nope, doesn't really help. <laughs> um, now this over here. Doesn't this look familiar? Yeah, um, copy pasta, huh? <laughs> remember I told you to remember that other area? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that bird can help in other situations. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Can you just like drop? Oh, I was gonna say, can you drop off and not kill me? But no, no, you can't do that. That that would be too nice of you. Hey, I'm back at. Co oh, this is copy and paste area one. Ah! Ah! <laughs> well, see, like the birdie tells me to go off the right side. Let's just let's just do that for kicks. Oh! No! 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 Oh! Gee! Ow! It's so fast too. It's just like, how do you even do any dodging when you're on these ladders? Like now, if you go off this way, look at look at this obstacle. This is just practically <laughs> insurmountable for. <laughs> Well, okay, I shouldn't say insurmountable, but it's uh, yeah. it's definitely not as easy as left side. So that bird ain't helping you whatsoever in this particular case. But at least on this particular spot, it actually leads out. But I still think the left part is easier. Oh, and I guess here the bird does direct you in the correct way. So okay, that's that's decent enough then, I suppose. Rolling cutter. Oh, what? 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 Okay. <laughs> Like, oh! Fine, I'll just do it from here. You're just too quick for me to shoot from up there. Fine, fine, fine. Be that way. Uh, back to the Mega Buster, I guess. Do, 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 do. Going up. Carefully. <laughs> and uh, if you don't have the power of the rolling cutter to defeat Lekaman, good luck. <laughs> His, his attacks do so much damage to you, and he is so unpredictable. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Alright, and oh boy, that was a little bit dicey. Okay, we're good. Copy pasta area number two complete. And we are almost done here. I'll take the hit from our pogo guy here if need be. Oh, okay, we're good. I got lucky. Because you can't tell how high that guy is going to jump when he jumps. <laughs> and then by then it's too late to actually walk underneath them because there's not enough time to actually walk underneath them. Yeah, it's... It's something. So there's absolutely no way to react to him properly. And just a little final gauntlet of sorts, I guess you could say. As long as you're careful, there shouldn't be any sort of ire. But oh god, here comes. Here comes! Z button, Z button, oh god, I need to get on my bullet. My mega buster. Okay, ready? And be prepared to spam. Three, two, one, go! Oh, jeez! Oh, so much damage! Oh, jeez! <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> I won somehow with a single bar of health left. <sighs> <laughs> all right and you'll be able to see elect man's power in the next part so with that i'm gonna end off the video here i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next part when we get to see some more fantastic level design <laughs> sarcasm <laughs>